Welcome back to Think Park Wizard. And today, Disney announced some big details about their 100th anniversary celebration or the Walt Disney Company's 100th anniversary celebration. And we're going to break them all down right now. So, in the theme park, uh, for Disney's theme parks, the celebration will start right where it all began. Right here in Anaheim at the Disneyland Resort at the original Disneyland Park that is... Opened in 1955 and is over 65 or 63 years old. Oh, yeah, 67. Sorry, 67 years old. My goodness, cannot do math. That is fantastic, and that's why I'm so glad that all of the celebrations starting here, right where it started, uh, right where the theme park is a theme park started, and they'll be traveling around the world uh, to all to see theme parks. But look at that gorgeous castle right there. Just gorgeous. But here are some cool, um, of course, merchandising opportunities you can have right there. So Mickey keychain or Mickey, I think a keychain or some kind of band you can wear. That new style version of Mickey. The same version you'll see in Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which we'll get to at the end of this video. But, uh, yeah, it looks quite nice. I mean, I have myself a nice Mickey here at home. And, uh, you know, I might have to go purchase this little guy. Of course, the latest Spirit Wear jersey. You have the Fab Five right there. Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Daisy, Donald, and, uh, oh my goodness, I, I'm blanking. A Goofy, there you go. Say so has a blanking on his name, but that is a cool looking Spirit jersey. I'm sure those will fly off the shelves, as they always do when they... No, when they pop on, uh, Disney does a merch shop, everything just flies off the shelves, I'm sure those will as well. I probably, I don't own a spirit jersey, so I probably will not be getting one of those. And then next, we'll be moving on to entertainment, and yes, we'll be in a brand new world of color. So of course we have the regular World of Color. We have World of Color, World of Color Season of Light, and we had a World of, World of Color Celebration and Villainous, and now we'll have World of Color One. Now this they seem to be talking as this will be a replacement for a regular World of Color show. Um, this will highlight all of Disney's animation throughout the one throughout one hundred years. I like the kind of globe aspect they have, that water globe in the middle of the concept art that, right there. Reminds of illuminations at Epcot, of course, the dancing water around it. So I'm very intrigued to see what uh, they have going on with this show. Of course, see Encanto, Lion King, um, Moana, and more reference. Even Soul. I'm so glad Soul's getting some nice presence in the show. It's with a uh, Soul's debut in a massive nighttime spectacular. So that's exciting. But yeah, the original World of Color is so good, especially the prize of the Caribbean segment. I'm very excited to see what they do with this new show. And some of the fountains are still out, so hopefully they get all those fountains fixed and all fountains will be working and all the everything will be working for the debut on January 27th. By the way, all of this is debuting on January 27th, including Mickey and Minnie's Runaway, Runaway Railway. And this also our brand new fireworks show, Wondrous. Disneyland has gotten so many new fireworks shows over the past several years. While well, Disneyland is getting, sh or Disney World is getting shafted, which is crazy, but good for Disneyland. This will be uh, called Wondrous Journeys, uh, showing Disney Animation's journey throughout again the past 100 years. Now, D Disneyland Castle is getting a nice dress, a dress up as you saw in the concept art in the beginning, nice iridescent concept art, or, yeah, iridescent flow going on there. And also, two new fountains. I wonder if those two fountains will be incorporated into this show. Maybe in some drone technology. I guess not really because there's fireworks. But that would be really cool because it's kind of reminds me almost like Paris's castle in that respect. The fountains and the drones, they incorporate that. That would be really awesome. And last but not least, the biggest and best news of all. On January 27, 2023, by the way, this is a Friday for all this is debuting. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will open. Yes, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway, Run, Runaway Railway will open early. It's supposed to open in spring 2023, but as noted in a recent Mice Chat article, 
the ride's about over 90% done. It's like basically done. Been testing, been doing all that good stuff. Um, so by January, just a few short months, it'll be ready to go. I'm sure they'll have cast member previews beforehand. Probably not. Uh, they may have some magic key holder previews, but I don't think so. They haven't really been doing the magic key holder and annual pass holder previews for like Rise of the Resistance or anything or the past few new rides. So I don't think they'll be doing that. I don't think they even did it for Guardians of the Galaxy, did they? I'm not sure. Well then, credit coaster. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments below. But um, I want to. I wouldn't count on a magic key holder, uh, you know, preview. But I would count on a cast member preview, hopefully, uh, in a couple of weeks before January 27th, because they do have to soft open it to somebody. That's part of the test and adjust period there. Um, and you, part of the California law and OSHA law, and just regular federal law. Got to test a ride so many times before it opens, and part of the testing process is with people, with actual people, and uh, water jugs, if it's like coasters and stuff, you have water jugs, and different types of things. But you got to do like an actual, it's called the test and adjust period, which is aka a soft open period. So uh, usually they use that time for annual pass holder previews or cast member previews, and I feel like cast member previews are, are the, the way to go, are, are, are going to be the way to go, and early uh, early next year. So that would be very exciting if you're a cast member or a guest of a cast member because I'm super excited. I'm so glad it's opening early. The rest of Toontown though will open in spring 2023 as it's still actively under construction. Hopefully the Roger Rabbit opens in, on January 27th as well because that could alleviate some of the crowds from going to Mickey Maze Runner Railway. And I don't think they're doing too much to that side of the land anyway. It's mostly on the, the left side of the land by gadgets and the neighborhood areas and Donald's boat and all the good stuff. So hopefully get yeah, uh, Roger app can open as well with Mickey and Winnie. And then the rest of land will opening will be open in spring 2023, most likely March or so. I'll be super excited to see that whole land. But very excited. Then just like three or so months, I'll be riding Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Mouse and Magic Happens will be coming back coming back in spring. I didn't give a date. I don't think it'll be on January 20. I don't think it'll be in January, but maybe, again, maybe when the land opens, uh, they'll bring back Magic Happens. It's kind of like a secondary push as we go into the summertime there. Uh, it'll be the spring-summer period. It should be very awesome. But what do you guys think of this awesome news today about Disneyland releasing, releasing the Disney 100 News? Are you excited to be able to ride Mickey and Minnie's early on January 27th? Um, do you think Disney decided to do that one because it was done? Right, it's mostly done. Also, maybe counter at Super Nintendo World and the Mario Kart attraction um, at Universal, which is rumored to be soft opening in uh, January and also uh, opening in early 2023. Very interesting. Let me know your thoughts on all that in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates, including more Toontown construction updates when we get some aerial updates of that. And as always, have a fantastic day.